Welcome to Masson in New York. It's our, uh, what did I say, our western gateway to the Erie Canal Cultural Merrill Trail. 75 miles, starts right here and goes to Syracuse. Yeah. All of Wayne County is now covered on Route 31 with murals. So if you're not, if you're from, not familiar with 315 country, as we're sometimes referred to, that would include Macedon, Palmyra, where we are having our county fair, and also uh, there's Newark, Lyons, the home of mural mania, Clyde, Savannah, uh, then it's Port Byron, Wheatsport, Jordan, Camillus, Syracuse. So there's a nice day's journey for you. Lots to see along the way. Lots of Erie Canal history and lots of murals. Hi, Thank you. <laughs> I think it's time to get our neighbors to the west involved, don't you? Like Fairport and Pittsburgh? Let's get them on board. Yeah. It's been, it's, I can't say enough about what this all means to be sitting here with like 65 people three months after we met. We met in um, late March, just before, in fact, it was Good Friday, I believe we had a meeting or thereabouts in that week about how to bring this mural together. Here we are, already, August, up and done. Thank you. And it all starts with a conversation, and I'd like some of the, the Macedon movers to come up here. I want to recognize these. These are people that are making your village pretty special. Marcy Fry, Sally Miller, John, Yes, yes, happy birthday, John. We waited to put this mural up on John's birthday. Okay. Hey, do you know where you are? You are in the center of the universe. Come over here. Come over here. I hope I have my camera for you. Come right behind me here. So it started in a conversation. And actually, I was over it. If anybody knows John. You, um, you get, he pulls out his calendar. And you're gonna, you're gonna make a presentation. I just walked in the store and I was doing a presentation. Sometime in the future. Well, that led to you must talk to Marcy Fry. She wants a mural. I said, well, so do we want to, we want to put a mural in Masson because that would continue this, this journey. So then uh, it was only a week later that we were convening in her office, in her Main Street office, and pulling the, this all together. So, thank you. Good things can happen really w quickly. There is, um, no before we go any further, I want to <laughs> recognize some of, some of the people that really had made a difference in my life. And if you look in your program, there's Noel Dobbins, who three years ago, I think it might be on the same day or thereabouts. It was the same weekend that we were at Wheatsport for a dedication for a mural down in Wheatsport. And as we were driving to Wheatsport, we, were, we came up, wouldn't it be cool if we could get like Newark, Clyde, uh, Jordan to join the mural trail? And so we went up to Bob Oaks, who happens to be your uh, assemblyman for this area. And we said, Bob, just think, if we can get this little 40 miles of murals done, you will, you can retire. Well, Bob, I think, is running. We have 75 now, Bob. <laughs> he couldn't be here today. Great guy. But no, he had scleroderma. And it's a disease that eats your arms and legs. He had lost three arms. And, or, or three arms. I mean, he had lost <laughs> six. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, two, two arms and a leg. But he was there helping us paint the murals, helping us apply the surface to the, the abutment that we stuck it on, and just was a go-getter. And that was pretty incredibly motivating to me and anybody else associated with Noel. So this is in memory of Noel. He's up there in heaven. He passed away in October 2007, but his dream is coming to fruition. So it wouldn't be possible without Noel. So I 
He's special to me, and that's a driving force, I think, that makes this whole journey special. Thank you. Here's another one. Do you know who called Golden Paint on his deathbed? Noel Dobbins, that roster general. He says, I must ca uh, call the paint company. We need more paint. And Golden, if you haven't used it, how about you, artists? What do you think of this stuff? Yeah. 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 That's it's great stuff. Great stuff. I never even knew a person at Golden. All I said is we're doing these with these murals with volunteers, and they shipped it out. Now we have $7,000 worth of paint that's been shipped out. It has painted our third or fourth mural with this special product. If you look at it, it's like plastic. It's going to last. We also are going to put a seal on this mural pretty soon. Just this past year, in Lions, New York, we were recognized for a National Heritage Corridor Award for the mural program. And we were in pretty tough competition. I was down in uh, Camillus, and I said, which they have restored in Aqueduct. If you haven't gone there, you must. And I said to Dave Beebe, who took him 30 years to restore this aqueduct, did you guys apply for the award? And he said, yes. And that made me feel pretty good that, that we were uh, picked choose over a place like Camillus. But it's quite an honor, and it's just going to be even better as we continue this trail. As we speak, murals are being painted in Syracuse, New York, five stories high, in the front page of the paper, a Democrat, Greece, New York, Brockport, Mass City right now, this, this month. Okay, and what can I say? Some of the special people, you're gonna hear it from the artists in a little while, but they are the ones that, what I call the brush strokes of life. They have been the ones that have painted at three in the morning, that have, my dear friend here, Frank, he shows up on the day his wife passes away to help us paint. Frank, I, I never will forget that. You're quite a guy. And, and I went up to Frank, I said, Frank, can you paint your wife in this mural? And he did. And this beautiful woman in the red dress is Frank's wife and his child chasing the butterfly. There's some more information on the back of the program. We have uh, Michael Bill, who, who I, I, I was at his, he, was, he had some art in the Lions in the library that he donated. I went up to Mike, I said, would you like to help us paint murals? And Mike shows up a couple days later and he paints the whole sky for the Savannah mural. And then he had to go away for a month. But then he shows up and he uh, got energized, might I say. I, I, I got a call at 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> He says, can you give me a sketch of that, uh, of that uh, Purdy's wagon so I can paint it? <laughs> well, Purdy is right back here. So that's the kind of dedication that Michael had. And there's uh, Bev Owen right here. Oh, wait. You, uh, Krisha Mott is in town. I mean, I can't tell who you are. Yeah, I'm Krisha and, and when the historian comes up, you'll hear a little bit more about Lucretia and Frederick Douglass and, and all the great people that walked through the streets of Massa prior to our being here today. Well, Bev, her nickname is the Bird Woman. <laughs> if you really want to see her work, go to Savannah. 20 birds and four mammals are painted in Savannah Mira. She snuck a few birds in here, and I, you got to look around to find them. But they're there, okay? 